So welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different than the previous ones. We have done hackcast, uh, the podcast, and also we have done classes. We have done reviews and a lot of things. But from today, I'm going to start one more playlist. You can say it has a POC review. We are getting a lot of demands for POC review, and here we are. So today we are going to look for how we found XSS on Google. Okay. And we will be uh, having some takeaways in the end. How to find it? How you can? Uh, how? What steps you try to find it? So let's get into the video. So here we are on our computer screen. But before starting the video, I would like to show you something. Uh, here we have launched a few courses. Uh, first of all, there is a course Bug Bounty Workshop Best Ten. If you are beginner into the field of bug bounty or you want to join uh, or you want to get started into bug bounty, then you should check this out. So this is our batch 10 you can check out all the content it will be from very basic of how to install kali to advance uh, topics like rc srf cache poisonings and many more so you can check the course out i will mention the link in the description and if you're all if you're not beginner or if you're in intermediate section of your bug bounty journey and i would like you to check out the advanced course so all the topics are only for advanced there will be no that base there will be uh, no not much about the basic thing Okay, so you can check the advanced bug bounty batch too. There will be batch 3 coming soon uh, by the end of the release of this video. So, hope I will mention the link in the description. You can check it out. Now, let's go to the main section. So, first of all, there is a thing. How I found the XSS on Google. So, uh, there are not that in-depth scene. Okay. So, the first, what is the first part of actually hunting the or hunting a random website right you just check out the scope you will check out the uh, subdomains you will check out the functionalities available in it you will check out the recon the uh, github recon google recon google docs the parameter fuzzing you will find first the detectives you will try to find some hidden js files you will try to find some hidden parameters you will do way back okay so it is a lot of things when doing uh, uh, when doing uh, you can say security research on a particular target so actually what i did here is let me show you what i did here is a little bit different so here are some takeaways but we don't need that right now so you better go down here first of all what i did here if i say like what i performed there so first of all i tried to find subdomains uh, so i tried to find subdomains then I try to uh, do some sort of you know just recon the basic recon you just try to do the things you know sort out the alive subdomain sorting alive subdomains using the HTTPX or HTTP probe maybe you can use these two tools then we will continue our other research like okay manually looking for the functionality or observing the website observing website I don't know my spell. I don't know. I'm having a lot of spelling mistakes here. Let's ignore it. So when I was looking for the manual, uh, manually, when I was looking for manually for the uh, flaws that I can found there, and then accidentally I found that. I think I have to. Then I accidentally I realized that I have to uh, look, or you can say I have to take a look on all the subdomains. So there are like you know 200, 300 subdomains. So I was pretty unsure about that. So there you can do something called visual recon i have tried to do that the visual recon thing uh, there are a lot of tools which can do they will go on the subdomain and take a screenshot of the subdomain and they will uh, save it in a pdf file so they can do that but we will understand this process uh, later first of all let's take a look on the poc so here it was xss on simplify.co there will be no bounty zero reward decided i will tell you why now let's take a look on uh, the report first of all then i will take you to the takeaways and how to do it how you can step up your recon game so first of all let's take a the take a look at the report so it was on xss yeah you know that i just mentioned it in title you already know that thing it was an xss on with the, uh, on mitre.simplify.co so first of all let's take a look on the report so here is the report what is XSS and what is HTML injection? You know this thing, right? 
if you are at this video then step to reproduce are here go to this location edit the payload and just these are the payload so let's open the video here i attach so let's copy the link go to the new tab and here is our video right so the windows machine that time let me download it i don't think it will take that much time to download yes here it is save it to uh movies maybe no not on pic let's save it on pictures it's done now here is the puc here i am uh, cropping a little bit part of the of this puc video because there is a lot of sensitive information about me mentioned in the report so take a look here here is the website and here is the name parameter email parameter password parameter and confirm password parameter so on the name parameter i am editing my name parameter as a payload you can see that image src equals to x you can see this i am changing my i am changing my name to image source equals to a link of uh, image so you can check it it here so here you can see that i am getting the uh, image that i mentioned in the name parameters link now here i am changing my name to script alert 1111 so you can see that i am trying to do some sort of you know xss you all know this command script alert document dot domain and the script tag close and you can see that here i am getting the xss pop up it's that simple right if it was so simple then why a lot of people find a lot of complications while hunting for bugs right so there are some reference uh, so there are some things that i want you to focus on if i am being a little bit perfect on it then there are some things uh first of all we have to step up our recon game it's not that simple that okay cool we are doing the supplement enumeration the httpx the uh, do little bit of dorking git dorking a lot of things you have to do everything effectively scope wise if your scope is too big try to find acquisitions so in the report as we saw that i have tried to find i uh, found acquisitions so i'm not trying everything on google.com i have done the thing on uh, some acquisition of google so how you can find acquisitions okay so let's take a look on it how to find acquisition so here i am on my brave account let's search for google acquisition to hunt on so here is a list of acquisitions by alphabet obviously the parent company right all the acquisitions are here and you can and you should open another website crunchbase this website just open these two websites now here i am on the wikipedia page of google acquisitions now let me try to find a random thing here uh, let's take a look at virustotal.com we have to take a look at Uh, who owns the virustotal dot com? So we will search the virustotal dot com on Crunchbase. Okay, so virustotal. This is the virustotal, and you can see that acquired by Google. You know, sorry. Yeah, here you can see that acquired by Google. If you want me to zoom in, I can zoom in. You can see that acquired by Google. So yes, you can hunt on it. now this is how you find acquisition of a particular company now then what you can do is you can try to find some sort of you could you have you have you have to do a perfect recon on it like there is a definition of perfect recon it it, it can vary on various hunters right so in my opinion what i would do is all these things i would try to find uh, i will try to do the main thing like i will say in the first sort of recon i will try to do the subdomain enumeration subdomains and i will sort them out and just complete that thing then way back and parameter finding then parameter finding uh, then fuzzing the important parameters you can see then hidden parameters 
then js files obviously then i will say uh dorking google and github git dorking is very important by the way i will make a detailed video on it so stay tuned subscribe to the channel then after the dorking i will use shodan then the other thing you know the senses i don't know spelling is right or wrong then we will do the uh, if there is some sort of network uh if there is some sort of ip you get till that and you can try to do n map definitely you should do that then after the n map we can try multiple things like uh, we can even try the automation if you are having your own template right then we can also try the one liners you will find a lot of one liners on internet on the github i will try to mention some in the description okay so this will be the basic recognition if i'm only having the one sort of you can say a static website but also you can add some sort of source code analyzing right source code analyzing i don't know the spelling is right yeah definitely you can just take out uh, take a look on source code then i will say um you can take a look on the uh, so you can say already posted repositories the old bugs already you know the resolved ones you can find a lot of things using that if you are if you just use a little bit of your curiosity on it okay so this will be a basic recon i will use and you can see the all the other things uh, you can see this ns you can use nsc definitely uh and map scripting engine you can use the nsc here right so this is the basic recon that i would like to do on a target if i am choosing any target there will be a live recon video coming soon on the channel so stay tuned for it too but this is the main thing i will do if i am having any target to hunt on then there is a important thing that helped me to find the bug on google so that was the visible uh, visual recon so let me show you what is visual recon so visual recon is something you know as after we completed the list of our http enabled targets we want to know what web services are running this host now one of the first step i perform is to actually take a look on that website the easiest and fastest way to do this for a lot of target is to perform automated screenshotting of all target so you will uh, you know that what it is going to do it is going to do a very simple thing it will go on a particular domain it will open the domain take a screenshot of the domain and it will save it in a pdf file so there is a tool i witness let's open the tool the brave browser here so by the way if you want to uh, buy the whole recon course about bug bounties and you can check out the link the recon course here i will mention the link in the description so let's mention the thing i witness uh, sorry uh, yeah here is the i witness tool and also there is one more tool go witness so these are the two tools you can use for all the things right the go witness is here you can use this too and also you can use the eyewitness tool here it will help you a lot when you are doing visual recon so what happened here is like a very simple thing i have done my all recon process and i was at the last stage of visual recon now i inputted a file which was of httpx file i, I just inserted the httpx file so for visual recon i used a tool and i i tried to find some sort of domain so then after some time i found that there was a domain which was this the simply five whatever it was dot i am just naming it as domain dot com right so i tried the visual recon on the httpx file and i found that this domain is running some sort of service which might be having some sort of input parameters right and then i tried to inject some payload inject some payloads and boom i got the accesses and there will be a lot of questions uh, there there are some questions in your mind that why i got zero dollar bounty for it 
even though it was tried so there let's read the comments here so this was the default or automatically generated email i got here now after some time you can say after almost a day i got uh, the message from google it was a triage and i was very happy definitely it was a triage so they said that it will take a couple of days to uh, to get a response and i was waiting for it but yeah google team is very good at it so i got just the i got the reply within a day you can say less than a day so here you can see that nice catch i have filed the bug response based on a report the product team will evaluate and decide if a fix is required or not and i was happy that maybe i will get something so there is another mail i i get uh, on the same day regarding our our vrp or vulnerability reward program the vulnerability reported affect the product but it was acquired by google less than 6 months ago repeating less than 6 months ago so if there is a acquisition that google acquires less than 6 months ago it will not qualify for a reward i don't i was unknown to it so it doesn't qualify for a reward however we would like to acknowledge your contribution to google security in our honorable mention so this was the link i was mentioned you can still try to find on the link so they told me to create a profile on it and i'm still able you can still find me on the link let's try if i'm still findable or not i don't know on the honorable mentions you can try you can just type anyone's name and you are able to you will be able to find them so it is doing that 404 no no issues on honorable mention you can just find anyone so here i am you can find me january 2021 and after some time after exact 10 days they have fixed the, the bug they just sent the email our system should that all bugs were created based on reports have fixed and feel free to check them out it looks okay on your end and boom that was fixed and also i have found a uh, html injection on a domain of google like it it is like you know it is something you will like to say dot google dot com it's simply like that so i have found a uh, html injection on subdomain of a google right so i will show that to in the upcoming videos so this was for today's video thanks for watching like share and subscribe and if you are interested in any of our courses you can comment on it i will mention some phone numbers you can call or whatsapp on it and you will just get the enrollment details so bye bye guys see you in the next video